Great vacation, Cecil boy. Maybe you'd rather go back to your demented brothers and... Good hunting, though, Cecil. Shut up, boy. Well, it would have been good if you and Floyd hadn't uh, shot that so-called deer. Listen, it was Floyd that said, look, there's a deer. All I did was pull the trigger. <laughs> I must admit, I was almost convinced it was a deer until I stood back. I gotta go look at it on the hood of the car. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what the giveaway was, Cecil. The giveaway was that udder. Mitzi, <laughs> when you die, eh, someone's gonna have to beat your moat to death with a stick. <laughs> have gone from bad to worse. Boys, if there's such a thing, they've gone from worse to worser. Stop, boy. I'll tell you, I was uptown today, and I'm not proud to admit it, not even to you, but I had to get a loan from a finance company today. Ah, you're kidding. I wouldn't kid about a thing like that. God, walked into that office, young fella sitting behind the desk, Nice new Sears suit on to him. Well, he started asking me questions, and questions, and more questions, and more questions after that. You don't mean personal questions. Oh, but the wife, the host, the car, the kids, the whole thing. <laughs> Young bugger, I'll tell you. Boys, so finally there came a point where I said, now, whoa, whoa now, young fella. You don't mind if I ask you a few questions, do you? Hell, he said, I... I suppose not. So I said, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice office you got here. It's a lovely suit you got on there. And I suppose you got a real nice house up in Boulderwood or someplace, do you? <laughs> well, he said, uh, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> yes, I said, and, and I suppose you got a, a lovely big green lawn out in front of it now, and one of them mowers that you drives around on to. <laughs> I suppose you got a lovely color TV in that big house, too, now. Indoor plumbing with the shower and everything. And I said, I suppose you took a shower this morning, too, now. <laughs> well, he said, uh, yes, uh, as a matter of fact, I did, but wh why would you want to know that? Well, I said, uh, I just wants to make sure you're clean before I has to bend down and kiss your arm. <laughs> With a collection here to see a symptom me. Pop you up, hassle, hassle, hassle. Yeah, the collection itch and see a symptom me. Pop you up, hassle, hassle, hassle. How can I be happy? Happy. How can I be free when the collection itch and see a symptom me? They want me for three grand now, ain't that grand? Yes, they want it, yes, yes, they want it. They want me for three grand now, ain't that grand? Yes, they want it, yes, yes, they want it. Don't want me for one, no, no, no. Don't want me for two, they want me for three grand, ain't that grand? How can I keep my money in the bank? Can they keep it? How can they keep it? How can I keep my money? Hassle, hassle, hassle. 
outside of the church. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember what uh, they wrote on the back of the truck. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right there, in big bold letters, tonight for show. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? <laughs> well, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't get my stockings off fast enough. Oh. <laughs> well, tonight, dear. Alec. You'll have time to knit a page. <laughs> Turn back the pages, the pages of time. The night that you promised that you would be mine. While strolling along in the moonlight. Oh yes, I remember, remember my dear. Possessions were meager, but love so sincere. And I can recall so vivid and clear Just strolling along in the moonlight Oh, do you remember that little farm 
And the hours ran late Where we never did part Without making a date And we both kissed goodnight In the moonlight Oh yes, I remember We laughed and did sing Was there that you gave me A small diamond ring And we spoke of the joy That our wedding for you. It's in French. Miss, <laughs> excuse me, miss? Hey, didn't you hear what she just told you? And what she told you is that I'm repeating that demonstration for you in French. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Je m'appelle Arlene. Uh, welcome to Air Maritimes. <laughs> The weather, it is nice. Uh, see for yourselves out there. Ah, uh, ici, là. Ah, uh, what you got here is a ting de air. <laughs> now, you take this ting and you sniff like that. Huh? Oh, yeah. Just like the breathalyzer. <laughs> and here she is to beg to barf. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What are you doing with that pen? Oh my jeez, what are you doing with that pen? <laughs> Trying to get us all killed, Buster? No. Yeah? You realize if you took that pen and you stuck it through the wall of this airplane, the atmospheric pressure would suck the eyeballs right out of your head. <laughs> Do you want to get off? No. Do you want to get off? No. Well, then give me this here. Oh, terrorists. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, they're worse than kids. Tainless. Ah! It's your problem. I want to get off. There's a fire in the engine. I want to get off. All right. Just relax. Trust me. Look into my eyes. <laughs> oh, look at that. You're in Hawaii. <laughs> yes, it's hot. It's sunny. You're in a bar. You got your drink. You're in control. And then a beautiful woman catches your eye. She wants you. 
helplessly she's drawn towards you, powerlessly getting ever closer. <gasps> it's Lonnie Anderson. <laughs> Oh, gee, hey, we're almost there. What? Hey, look, we're almost there. What are you talking about? Well, you better get back to work, girl. It's your turn to land her. What? <laughs> oh, me with a big head. Oh. Thank you for flying with Air Maritimes. We're flying at an altitude of 20 or 30,000 feet. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way. If any one of you were to fall out now, eh? <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Look to 